Hemagglutination inhibition reaction for detection of antibodies in paired serum. For this reaction, we use six text tubes and three control tubes. Control tubes uh, of serum, antigen, and RBC. First step, we add physiological solution in all tubes. Second step, we uh, dilute patient serum, which taken in the start of the disease, in this test tubes. Uh, we take original dilution 1 to 5 and add in first tube and uh, we have dilution 1 to 10. We start to dilute and every next uh, tube will have dilution in half of present previous tube. 1 to 10, 20, 1 to 40, 1 to 80, 1 to 160, and last dilution 100 to uh, 1 to 320. And uh, remove uh, last uh, half of liquid uh, in the disinfection solution. We add um, patient serum in original dilution in serum control, exclude antigen control and RBC. The third step, we add in this tube viral antigen and in antigen control, exclude serum control and RBC. The fourth step, we add chicken RBC in all tubes. I repeat all steps with patient serum taken after 7 or 10 days from the start of the disease. First step, we add physiological solution, dilute the patient serum, which taken after 7 or 10 days after the disease. A third step, viral antigen in test tubes. All steps we, with the uh, tube control, we repeat it. Uh, first step, we add chicken RBC and check results. What we can see in the first line of tubes? Uh, antibodies uh, uh, which present in the patient serum against the influenza virus are capable to inactivate the virus in the viral material, a viral antigen. And uh, there is no any agglutination where the um, nor uh, normal concentration of anti antibodies is present in this tube. And we detect the result as a button. And we check what the uh, dilution of the serum 1 to 40, what the concentration of antibodies in it, we will tell 1 to 40. When we repeat this after the 7 days of the disease, we think that antibodies in the patient serum can be increased because our immunity working. And we check a result. That uh, five test tubes has a button because antibodies inactivate the virus in this uh, liquid. And the last uh, dilution of patient serum, which inactivated the virus in this uh, liquid, uh, in the suspension, is 1 to 160. And we can tell that. Uh, Antibodies increase in from 1 to 40 to 1 to 160 in four times. Uh, four times is uh, diagnostic tighter. If the less than uh, four times, we think uh, that is maybe cross reaction, maybe uh, false positive reaction, we should use another test and reactions method for diagnosis. And this, of course, can be increased more, and uh, reaction will be 100, uh, 1 to 320. This can be a uh, button. Uh, of course, it's uh, increasing in four times, in eight times. What about serum antigen and RBC controls? Serum control uh, result is button because there is no antigen, there is no uh, capable of capacity of hemagglutination, of course. Antigen control, there is no antibodies because there is no serum. And, of course, this, we can detect uh, hemagglutination or shield-like pattern. And RBC control, this present only 
zero uh, physiological solution and RBC. And of course, we will detect normal sedimentation of RBC, which called button.